I get it. You want to be the guy that's at the gym every single day, crushing his goals, full of energy, hype for the workout, no matter how long he's been going at it. But you just can't seem to hold on to the motivation long enough to be that guy. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to actually fix that. Before you ask, my name is Connor Newell. I'm an 18-year-old fitness enthusiast. I love working out, I love crushing my goals, and I love inspiring other people to do the exact same. But don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe it just yet because I haven't proven that I'm worth subscribing to. So let me get straight into that. First of all, we're going to talk about the problem. You may think it's a lack of motivation or a lack of being able to hold on to the motivation, but really, it's quite the opposite. Trust me, it will all make sense as I explain through the video. Over the period of the last few weeks, I myself have been dealing with what I thought was a lack of motivation. I was finding it harder and harder to feel motivated to get a good workout in. So what did I do? I went on to handy dandy Spotify and I found some motivational speech podcasts. And they worked great. I started listening to them before and while I was working out and I got the best workouts that I've had in a long time while doing that. I was pumped, I was hyped, I was ready to crush the workouts. The motivation was really high. Until after a few days, literally a few days, it didn't even last all that long, it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. I would, I would go out to work out, I would turn on Spotify, I would press this motivational speech, and it would start out, and it was... It wasn't doing it. And so I was back where I started, except now even worse because I stopped listening to these motivational speeches when I just listened to regular music. I was even less motivated than I was before I started listening to those motivational speeches. So I just dug myself a bigger hole. It's important to have the camera rolling when you're talking to it. Yeah. Motivation is a feeling. It's kind of like a wave that we ride of emotion. When you're riding this wave of emotion that this motivation has given you, it feels great. You can crush your goals. You have this adrenaline. You are pumped. You are hyped. And it is fun. But the thing with feelings is that they're temporary. And if we put all our energy into chasing motivation, essentially chasing that feeling, we will start relying on it, which is a big problem. Let's be honest. It's not hard to do something when it's fun, when you're motivated to do it. There's no hardship in doing something you're motivated to do. It's, it's just fun. But when you start riding these waves of motivation, you start losing the need for discipline. And when you lose the need for discipline, your strength in it will dwindle. A wave of motivation is great and all, but at some point or another, that wave will diminish and leave you in still waters, drifting. And what's there to pick you up and keep you going is discipline. When they dwindle and it comes time to rely on that discipline, it's nowhere to be found. Leaving you sitting on the couch late at night with your mind trying to tell you it's late, you're tired, you can just do it tomorrow. And so you do. And the cycle repeats itself over and over and over. So how do we solve this reliance on motivation? We build discipline. So you know that guy in the gym, the one that always seems to be motivated? I got news for you, he's not. Nobody is going to always be motivated. Motivation is a feeling and it will always, at some point or another, fail you. The difference with that guy at the gym who's always there, always has energy, always seems to be crushing his goals, is the fact that he has removed himself from the reliance of motivation and instead focused on building discipline. Because discipline is a mindset, and when motivation fails, it takes over. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with feeling motivated. No, feeling motivated is a great. We just cannot let ourselves get completely reliant on it. So how do we build discipline? Building discipline is the process of reprogramming your mind to when the thought comes of it's late or I'm too tired or I can just do it tomorrow. It's manually programming your mind for your next thought to be, dang it, now I have to do it. So yes, building discipline can really, really suck. <laughs> but sooner or later, you're gonna look around and find yourself to be that guy in the gym that you used to wish you could be like. Let's build discipline together, guys. Stay strong, my friend. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit the video that's on the screen right now. If you want to just hang out and vlog, hit this video right here. I'll catch you guys on the next upload. Peace.